978 Dance. We're here live at Tomorrowland in Belgium. It's day three, and in the studio right now, we have Joris Vaughan. Absolute legend. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are, How are you, you Joris? Yeah. I'm really good. Great you, to be here. You just arrived. like I just arrived, yeah. I came driving it myself. I live in Amsterdam, which is only a two hour drive yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. So right. it's very st- strategically located. This it's festival. perfect, yeah. It's all yeah. the yeah. DJs. Exactly. It's your festival. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels like it almost. I mean, I've been coming here for since 2005 I believe so wow. if that's close to 15 years yeah, yeah you've seen years. all of it so it's a lot it's, of it yeah it's evolved in front of your eyes I've seen it change big big time I remember the first time I was playing in a in the techno tent it was yeah. a tent at that time I don't, I don't think there's many tents anymore no there's a, um, there's a couple there yeah but the stages I mean everything's a main stage exactly you know, yeah exactly that's that's a big difference like when I came here it was like a, a stripped down tent mm. with a sound system and a pair, pair of turntables rave that was it yeah total rave yeah yeah, things have definitely changed. I mean, we walked around today, and as I said, it's, there's I think there's two big tents, but yeah. it's all the stages are incredible yeah. in this place. Yeah. I mean, it's like Disneyland. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah really, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's a yeah. grown-ups Disneyland. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you're doing Garden of Madness, which is the ants. Yes, uh, yeah, stage. Exactly, and yeah. You're closing that out today, right? I'm closing that today. Yes. So what's, that's going to be what's the uh, plan. The plan is to see whatever happens. You know, um, the the challenge of uh, closing a set at one of the stages, which is not the main stage, is that people. Are usually drawn to the main stage so yeah. you kind of have to keep them in and try to play in a way that you know they're they're really latching on they have nailed that stage though this year i mean I, you haven't seen it obviously but i haven't seen we've, it now we've we've actually kind of gone there both nights we've yeah. kind of gravitated towards it yeah. it's been a really really good stage this year you know yeah. i think it was net sky yesterday and friends then i forget what it was the first but the vibe has been really good yeah nice behind you you've got fountains yeah, like yeah, side, yeah. You know, the yeah. setup is is awesome yeah so uh so it's a proper vibe we love the fact that 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 this is our opinion and i'm sure you'll love it <laughs> <laughs> which is that you you've really stuck to you're a house pioneer in our eyes you've kind of really stuck to house music in it's different forms but you've really yeah. kind of stayed true to your game and for us in, at a big festival like this for somebody to have have grown and grown and grown and still be true to to, to who you are is really really impressive yeah i don't I'm, know whether I'm, that's I'm, a question I'm or glad a you, uh, congratulations <laughs> all right, yeah, all right what's the next speech? question yeah, yeah, <laughs> well yeah. i'm glad, I'm we'll glad you're saying this because <laughs> because um i think i've evolved quite a bit as an artist like i started out being very techno as i just mentioned first time here i was playing at the very techno stage yeah uh, very different sound than, than what I'll be playing today. Um, however, I've always like loved house music, and that's been a constant, constant factor in my music. Like things evolve around it. Like sometimes it's more techno, sometimes it's more melodic. Um, so things are shifting, but you know, I, I, I just do what I believe in. I think, um, and I hope that's that's working. Do you still use any live instruments in the tracks that you make? Because I saw, I, I remember watching a video of you years ago. I, I think maybe DJ Mag or someone and you had a live bass and you said you played the bass and then you resampled it and then you that's true actually yeah I did that for um, that's that's studio work though I wouldn't take that on stage yeah. <laughs> yeah. I actually but cannot the play the bass you still keep any any live elements in there I do them? yes actually on one of my last singles I use my uh, my guitar which doesn't doesn't hasn't been isn't being used a lot but yeah. I, it's sitting in the studio and I just I wanted a little we've guitar we've all got a guitar on the wall <laughs> <laughs> yes, this, I mean, we don't talk about that too much when there's other people it's nice as well Maybe I can case. borrow it sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then the, what I do, like I just I re- because I used to play guitar as a kid, mm. um, and I'm not really that tight anymore. So I just like record some separate notes and then glue them together yeah, so it yeah, sounds like yeah, it's now we have quantized <laughs> yeah, exactly. like, yeah. you should do that live <laughs> okay. maybe not. Anyway. I'm not I'm not yeah. particularly smash. Yeah. Um, talk to us about the label I want to talk about um, the, the ADE show yes. under the same name but the, talk to us about the label and what, what the goal is with that and how it's doing well basically Spectrum is uh, has been my my, um, my music brand for the last two three years and I've been t- touring it uh, worldwide and it's 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 a um, it's a brand that focuses um, on any kind of music within my realm, yeah. that's a, so, so to say, within my spectrum. That's obviously yeah. where, where the name came from. Nice. Um, and then um, I, I want to put some more weight to it. So I was uh, thinking, how can we do it? I have two labels already, Green and Rejected. And we're slowly going to retire Green, which is the more melodical, uh, melodically oriented label. And that's going to fade into uh, re- um, spectrum. Okay, cool. So um, at first, my upcoming album will be released on that. The last two singles were released on it, and it's uh, it's actually backed up backed by BMG. So we have uh, some some muscles some behind it. Yeah. Um, and we're just gonna see where where it's gonna take it. At the moment, I'm very busy finishing the actual music for the, for the album, 
so I don't have so much time doing A and Ring and, and, and getting other artists signed, but that's something that we have to start working on very soon. So and if so anyone's listening and wants to send us music. Well, there's a lot of guess. budding producers in Dubai. I mean, you know, it, it's one of those places where everyone's so keen to get involved with electronic music, city of the future and everything. Yes, so everyone's yeah. really, really into it. So, yeah. yep, if you're listening, <laughs> send it, bother him. <laughs> His email address, isn't it? No, okay. um, so also with the ADE show, so that's uh, going to be a visual and tangible kind of recreation of the label. So what's the plans for that? The plan is that it's, um, it's located in a very very special building it's like a, a modern concert building basically like Amazing. a concert venue which is more used for jazz and classical music and once a year once every two years like it's been used uh, during ADE for like a dance party mm. um, it's a beautiful beautiful room uh, and there's, there's actually different rooms but I'm playing back-to-back uh, -back with a secret guest um, all night long in, in the main room so uh, if you will and then there's different rooms around it with different um, kind of vibes that have other artists going around as well. Curated by yourself. Yeah, well, me and actually together with Audio Obscura, which is a local uh, promoter, that are focused uh, on, on, on doing parties and like bespoke venues. Quick question about ADE, because it's obviously very close to your heart. For people that have never been to ADE as well, is it, uh, what, why should they go to it? Because they'll look at all these big festivals, all the lights and, the, and everything, yeah. and Tomorrowland is, is awesome. You yeah. should go to both. <laughs> but, uh, with ADE, what, what does that offer the, the young music fans? ADE, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's some, first of all, it's something that's like exponentially growing year by year. And it used to be a very small kind of city festival. So this is obviously a weekend festival with different stages. In Amsterdam, you'd have different venues doing different parties, label parties and, and whatnot. That's grown kind of like exponentially and, and now has become um, ginormous. Like there's, there's parties in the football arena for 40,000 people, yeah. in, in like the Rye, yeah. which is a huge, huge congress center for like 20,000 people. And then there's Awakenings, which does 4,000 people. And, and there's, there's all that and there's tiny little bar concerts and, and, and gigs everywhere and, and, and smaller clubs. Like every every sound system you could possibly find in the city will have dance music throughout the whole week. And you still can you, you can really kind of rub shoulders with you know the A list DJs. Oh yeah, sure. In yeah. a small bar you'll find yeah. like yeah. And it, it's still I think um you know I think the Miami Winter Music Week kind of was intended to be similar to this but it's more just like a big party but I think AD yeah. is still AD is actually still a real conference business, so there's yeah. a real program like a daytime program yeah, it's a good network which is uh, which is very high quality there's a lot of talks by DJs and a lot of things to, to learn uh, about dance music and a lot of promoters come there to, to gather information to talk to each other it's ba basically one big um, big like kind of like m meeting opportunity yeah, for, yeah, for a whole week long the label the show tonight best of luck it's been an absolute pleasure having you thank here you so thank much. you very much you are a swan my total pleasure thanks a lot <laughs> cheers